Lena Dunham made some comments on the issue of abortion that um, really pissed off the internet. So I want to go through, through this with you here. Time Magazine explains, Dunham recalled visiting a Planned Parenthood in Texas where she was asked to share her own abortion story. So here's what uh, Lena went on to say on her podcast. I wanted to make it really clear to her that as much as I was going out and fighting for other women's options, I myself had never had an abortion. And I realized then that even I was carrying within myself stigma around this issue. Even I, the woman who cares as much as anybody about a woman's right to choose, felt it was important that people know that I was unblemished in this department. It was an important moment for me then to realize that I had internalized some of what society was throwing at us. And I had to put, put it in the garbage. But then she added this. Now I can say that I still haven't had an abortion, but I wish I had. Come on, son. <laughs> Come on, son. This is... <laughs> I have a lot to say about this and I can't get any of it out. <laughs> Okay, so the, the mentality from the left on abortion is supposed to be understanding, open-minded, tolerant. So if you had an abortion, look, it's okay. It's all right. You're not a bad person, you know. It's, so that's, that should be our philosophy, our mentality, and that's been our philosophy and our mentality. This is a bastardization of that and a trivialization of that. Because now you're taking that which should be tolerated, that's that which we should be tolerant towards, and you're pretending it's a virtue. Like what? What do you want to do? You want to have a fucking parade? You want to like cheerlead people who get an abortion and hold it up as some sort of totally moral and just act. It's preferable if you have an abortion versus if you don't have an abortion. No! The whole, like, the old democratic phrase on this, which is totally true, I think, is, yes, we're Democrats. We're in favor of, we're open-minded. So we believe in abortion and it should be legal, safe, and rare. You want to know why that was the position? Because we're sane. <laughs> You're insane. You want to like fucking... I wish I had one because they're so lovely and wonderful and brilliant. Who says that? Who says that? You know who says that? Somebody who's caught up their own ass. Somebody who's drunk the Kool-Aid of identity politics so much that they've just bastardized all the actual arguments in favor of liberal ideology... And they're willing to be, and here's the main point, so disconnected from regular people. Everybody listens to this show. I'm as progressive as it gets in the context of the United States. But when I hear stuff like this, I go, oh, sweet Jesus. You're handing Rick Santorum a fucking, like, a, a present. Here, here's a prize. Go ahead and mock all liberals as moronic because she's a moron. That's what you're doing. Like, we don't stop. We don't want you on our team. You're talking liberals and progressives. You are a goofball. And you know what I find? I found this a lot recently. This is, there's McFeminism and there's McLiberalism. McFeminism is feminism that's about as real as the, the, the chicken and the chicken McNuggets. McLiberalism, same thing. Liberalism that's about as real as the chicken and the chicken McNuggets. These are prime examples of this, and it's gotten worse. I noticed it with Hillary's people first. And she was oh, Team Hillary to death. So, what you got from them was any actual substantive conversation about the issues. If Bernie wants to talk about, hey, let's do Medicare for all. Let's do universal college. If Bernie wants to talk about, hey, let's end the wars. Let's not do all these crazy interventions. If Bernie wants to talk about uh, taxing the rich more, taxing corporations more, he wants to go super detailed into all the specifics of what we need to do policy-wise in the country. And he attacks Hillary Clinton on those things because, hey, you're kind of sold out to Wall Street and you're too hawkish and all those things. What was the response from this crowd? Sexist. 
sexist. Sex, you're sexist. You're Bernie bro. You're sexist. You're a misogynist. And you're the one that's not really liberal, they would say to Bernie and his followers. And they say, Bernie bros. Bernie bros. So you know what that is? It's a smear. They can't have a conversation on the issues and win in the realm of ideas. So they smear. They're not, they're not policy oriented. So you smear. It's not really about making people's lives better. It's about playing the game and being on a team. And I'm on team righteous and liberal, but in reality, Mick liberal. And yeah, so I'm going to say everything is sexist, say everything is racist, and trivialize important issues like abortion by saying, I wish I had one. Get off of our team. You're a ridiculous person. Nobody wants you on our team. You are the reason, you're one of the reasons why so many not bad people have abandoned the left. And they go, oh yeah, the left, they're all social justice warrior idiots. You know, they're all just too sensitive and this and that. And they look at people like Lena Dunham and they go, I can't, I can't, I can't be on, all right, I'm going to be on her team. I'm going to vote for the same person as her, as Lena fucking Dunham. It bothers me because it's taking the people in the country, the leftists, who are correct on policy substance, and you are doing nothing but damage by turning them off to the point where they can't even hear that message. They can't hear the message of, hey, we're the only modern nation that doesn't have a single-payer healthcare system. Hey, have you seen the list of countries the U.S. has invaded since World War II? They can't hear the real arguments and how right we are because they can't get past your bullshit of, oh, yeah, yeah. I haven't had an abortion, but I wish I had one. Aren't I so liberal? No. You're kind of an idiot.